Hi, this is David and thanks for checking out this video. Uh, with this video, I just wanted to show you how to create light rays, uh, the beams of light coming through the clouds. And uh, this is sort of the finished image of what we were, uh, we're gonna start working on now. And hopefully we'll get it pretty close to this by the time it's all over. Uh, I started with about four or five different images on this. The, the clouds is one image, the mountains was another, and the road was one, and then the gentleman was also one. So we have several different images here going on. And uh, I, I kind of took care of blending them all together to start with just to make it a little bit easier. But this is kind of the finished product, so I just thought you'd like to see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this one. Okay, so this is the image that I was starting with. Uh, I basically like the road just basically going off into the horizon. I wanted to move the mountain so we had this little point here and I wanted them larger. So I'm gonna strip those in and then I also grabbed the sky that worked a little better for a little more angry looking, I guess, is what I was looking for. So I dropped the sky and the mountains in and then we have the shadow for the car and then the actual car sitting over the top of that. So those are the images that we're working with. And what I want to do is I'm going to actually merge these two together, the, the Mustang and the Shadow, so we can work to the, work to those together. And in these two, what I want to do is I'm actually going to duplicate these by doing a Command-J. And then I want to merge these two together. So I'm going to merge those two together. I'm going to turn these off. So those are my original layers that I was working with. So now all I'm working with is the car and the mountains. So that's kind of the two images I'm working with at this point. And what I want to do is start by creating the light rays. So up here I have an area in the break in the sky where I want the rays to kind of come out and shine on the ground behind them and around the car. So what I want to do is actually duplicate this layer by doing a Command J. I'm going to call this light rays. And that's going to be the main layer we're going to work with with the light rays. So what we want to do is basically put in some highlights in here that we want to work with. So I'm going to hit the brush the brush tool. You can hit this up here, hit the brush tool, or hit B for brush. And I want to draw in some white dots in here. Uh, I'm going to, I need to toggle back to the black and the white as default, so I'm going to press the D for defaults. And I want the white, so I'm going to press X to toggle back and forth between foreground and background color. And what I want to do is I want to use a fairly hard brush, and we're going to use a bunch of little white dots we're going to put in here. So let me crank that all the way up. And what we're going to do is just basically put in little white dots. And what that does is that kind of creates the rays and striations that we're going to need to sort of create that look. And I know this doesn't look really good yet. This is the background layer. This is an additional layer that we'll be working with. So it is something that we'll be getting rid of in a few minutes. So some of this stuff will sort of disappear in a moment or two. So I have a bunch of little white dots I'm working with. And then now what I want to do is come up to the levels, the image, adjustment, levels. And what I want to do is darken all this area so I don't really see much there. So I'm going to just basically start cranking the shadows up. And we've pretty much lost most of the detail, which is kind of what I was hoping for. You know, it'll bring some of that back a little bit. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the car for now. Um, this area I don't want to see or don't want affected. So what I want to do is paint in with a paintbrush on that. So I select my paintbrush with a B. I want to paint it in black. So I'm going to toggle back to the black with my, with my X key. Select a larger brush, not that large. And then just basically come in here and get rid of all the detail I don't want to have painted in on. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that and kind of get rid of that too. So now all we're doing is dealing with the little white dots that we created in the clouds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint a little bit of white over the top of those. So I'm going to toggle back with a, with the X key, pick a little smaller brush and do about 40%. And I'm just going to kind of go over the top of that a little bit just to soften that up just a hair. And now what we're going to want to do is we want to, to create the rays coming down. So I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, and we're going to go to Radio Blur. We want it on Zoom at 100%, definitely not on Spin. And then we want to basically drag the rays down. So I'm going to put this at the top 
basically at the top over just a little past halfway so they are coming straight down. We'll take that all the way to the top and then I'm going to click OK. And we'll see what that does. So that's sort of bringing the rays down. And what I want to do is do this a bunch of times. So I'm going to go to Filter, Radial Blur, do it again. And again. And again. And I'm going to keep doing this a few times and then come back to you when I'm finished. So I've done this about 10 to 12 times and as you, the course of going going over it a few times, what happens is it starts um, spreading those those the image out which makes it actually get darker. So what I'm going to do is come up with, with a light rays selected. I want to come up to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I just want to boost that up to make it a little brighter so we can see those rays a little better and just something like that. And uh, what I'd like to do is kind of diffuse these a little bit. So I'm going to actually go up to Filter, Blur, and I'm going to do a Gaussian Blur on there just to kind of diffuse those a little bit more. Just so it's, we can, so the bands kind of disappear just a little bit. I'm going to do something about right there. And, and that's looking pretty good to me. So now at this point, obviously you can't see through the black. So what we want to do is go to the blend mode and change it from normal. We're going to go to screen. And when you do that, basically it it drops all the, the black out. And now what what's happened is the because we had stretched, we'd done the zoom or done the zoom radio blur so many times that it's moved the, it from where it needs to be. So I'm going to actually grab my move tool and just kind of pull those back down and get those sort of in the direction I need. I'm going to do a command T to transform and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist to just to kind of straighten it out a little bit and kind of put it right underneath where I want it. And that's looking pretty good right there. So those are my rays coming down. I can then drop in my car. And what I want to do is actually darken the ground up a little around him too. So now what I want to do is I'm going to darken up this road a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to actually create a new layer, just a blank layer. And I'm going to fill that with black. So I'm going to go down and edit fill with black, which obviously gets rid of the rest of the image. And then what I'm going to do is kind of pull that opacity back. And I'm going to drop in a mask and then basically paint in on the mask so that we can get rid, bring the, the lightness back in up here. So to do that, I want to paint it in black on a white mask using my paintbrush. And I'm going to go to 100% and then basically just kind of start painting in here to get, get rid of the darkness in the background. And if I've gone too far, I'm going to toggle back and just kind of bring that back up a little bit in there. So that's kind of my image right now with the rays coming through. Uh, it doesn't look as natural because the rays are coming and obviously would be hitting the ground, but they're not. So what we want to do is create a ground effect. So to create the ground effect, what we want to do is create a blank layer. And to do that, we're going to basically create a blank layer above what we just did. So we're going to come down here to the little icon at the bottom here and click on that which will create a blank layer and what I want to do is paint it in white so I'm going to dial my brush back quite a bit and then basically what I'm going to do is just kind of paint in here a little bit because this is going to be the area where the sun's coming down if I've gone too far I can use my eraser tool and just get rid of some of the white because all we're doing is getting rid of the, the white on the layer we're not getting rid of any other information And obviously the white now doesn't look very good from the standpoint it, it looks a little too white. So what we want to do is change the blend mode. So we're going to go up to the blend mode, which is normally normal, and then we're going to come down and we're going to change that to soft light. And what that does is that kind of creates a ground effect where it looks as though the light is hitting the ground a little bit more. And you can always add a little more light by going back to the paintbrush and you can just kind of add a little bit in there. And that's looking pretty good. So that's kind of created the, the, the light that we've wanted. Um, we can adjust it pretty much any way we want now. Um, generally, I like to add a little more contrast to the image. So I'm going to go ahead and dr drag this up here. I'm going to do come up, come down here and go to levels. 
And we're just going to kind of boost that up a little bit. You can bring some of those highlights back out just a little. And there we've got it. Just a real pretty easy way to do it. There's a lot of steps involved in that. And uh, it gets easier once you've done it a few times. So definitely give it a try. It, it's kind of a nice effect and, and works pretty well in most circumstances. You definitely want to have a darker background going on behind the light rays because if it's a, a sort of a light rays against a white cloud, you're obviously not going to see it. So hopefully uh, this video will help you out a little bit. If you liked it, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for your time.